Hello, my cooking friends and family. I wanted to share a hot tip with you guys. Tony and I love to eat clean and we love to cook. And when we do, we try to cook in bulk and we really are trying to get back to meal prepping because I think that bulk cooking is awesome and I highly recommend it. That means when you cook, um, cook a lot of it and make little portions that you can freeze. Um, but don't stop there. One piece that we fell off of was actually taking the time to meal prep again. We used to be master meal preppers. In fact, I used to have friends that would pay me to prep their meals for the week um, so that they could stay on their healthy tracks too. And then life gets crazy and it was just one skill that we let slip through the cracks. And so um, with this last birthday of mine, I decided, you know what, it's time to get that back in place and really focus on clean eating again and healthy living and just feeling the best that I can, which we always do try to eat very healthy. Um, we kind of live with that 80-20 mentality um, where we eat really good 80% of the time and then we have some splurging 20% of the time. But I'm even ready to take that up a notch with this new birthday upon me. Um, so maybe some 90-10 living. And so I wanted to share a hot tip with you guys as um, I cook for my family, I always try to save a portion or a portion or two of what I cook and stick it in the freezer. And I label it well, and these are all totally frozen. I just pulled them out to kind of show you what I'm talking about. And that way, when I am working on meal prep, I can easily build things and not have to rush to the grocery store all the time um, because they're ready to go um, when I need to. Now, don't get me wrong, I need to go to the grocery store, but I'm trying to work with what I have as often as possible. And so, for example, I made a big batch of um, riced cauliflower and saved some of it in the freezer, spaghetti squash. I do this with brown rice and quinoa. I'm just out of that right now. Um, I do some um, sweet potato kind of um, mash that I like to do, beans, corn, um, these little, um, I used to make my kids these um, pancakes with eggs and banana when they were little and they would just scarf them up and um, I kind of got reintroduced to that through a clean eating group that I like to follow and I'm so excited um, because they had the idea to make them into these awesome little muffins. And so that'll be fun for um, a little treat with my eggs this week. And then lentils freeze well. I made some other soup. I love soup, I could eat soup every day. Um, so here's some cauliflower potato soup. Um, dark meat already measured out in their portions. Last night we made a big batch of soup in our slow cooker that cooked all day. And so we ate on it last night. I meal prepped three meals. I need variety in my life, so I can't eat the same thing every day, but I could definitely eat soup every day, um, just different kinds. And so what I did is I portioned out three days that I can rotate through for my soup, and then I'm gonna th uh, freeze one so that I can pull it later um, in the month to put in my rotation too, so that I can keep that variety going. So um, for example, here's another one of my meals for the week. Um, and that's just a really good, clean, whole wheat pasta. We don't eat a lot of pasta, but when we do, we make sure it's organic, whole wheat, and it's a splurge. So maybe on a higher carb day, I will add that pasta in, and then I'll just kind of rotate it so that, you know, this might be um, my Monday meal, or this might be Monday, this might be Tuesday, this might be Wednesday, and then, you know, Saturday or something, just to give it some space. So this is kind of how my brain works, and I thought I would just do a quick little, um, show to you guys to show you kind of how I do it and it just makes it so great and so what I like to do is just keep everything kind of categorized if it's a soup um, or a side I put it in their own little bit individual bags in the freezer so that if I need a main dish I can pull it out if I need a side dish I can pull it out from that bag if I need something to go along with breakfast you kind of get the, the the drift of that if I need some meat. Um, and so I have my little bags, they're all different, filled with different things so that I can assemble and have the variety that I'm looking for to help me stay on track with clean eating and just making those healthier choices. I have found that the weeks that I take the time to do the meal prepping, I tend to stay on track and make better choices um, because life happens, you know, and if you don't have your stuff to grab and go out the door, then it's easier to be tempted along the way 
and pop some fast food in your face instead of, you know, having a plan of attack and being ready for the day. And, you know, you know how that goes. So anyway, I hope that helps you. I do, I do like to prep a week at a time. My food never has given me any troubles or spoiled. Um, I use very fresh ingredients. I don't need a lot of things in it. Um, and they're always really flavorful, super simple. Um, if you feel more comfortable, you could do like three days at a time. Um, I do like to, Tony makes our eggs every week, which we've talked about a lot on here. And um, so that makes it easy to grab and go. And then I kind of keep my snacks pretty simple and pretty much the same every day too, which we can, we can do a snack video sometime. How about that? That would be fun. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. If you have something that you want to see me do, um, just comment down below. If you have a favorite recipe, but you want to have it cleaned up, um, that's my favorite thing to do is comfort food cleaned up. And I'm just learning, learning, learning along the way um, as I grow in my journey too. So um, definitely leave me a comment and I will do my best to take something that you love and give you a cleaner version of it. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much.